Hey beautifuls, good morning. Yes, I felt like starting my morning off with a mask. This is from Freeman. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but it's Freeman. And it's the Polishing Charcoal and Black Sugar Gel Mask and Scrub. So you get a, it's a dual action, it's a dual action mask. It and instantly detoxes pores and it's full, and it's, <laughs> listen, I've been on vacation all week. So I ain't really been talking to a whole lot of people. So I guess that's why I'm so tongue tied. But anyway, dual action mask. It instantly detoxes pores and exfoliates for smooth skin. So, all I want to do is apply the mask to a damp face. As y'all can see, 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 I already dampened my face and neck. So, you want to do it on your face and neck. And looks like so. If it focuses, there you go. And I'm just going to commence to rubbing it in my skin. On my face and on my neck and I'm gonna let it sit for about five ten minutes about five ten minutes about five to seven minutes and I'm gonna rinse it off my face but anyway the thing that I do is I, if I do it like this first thing in the morning I just felt like doing a mask today I felt like I just needed to do a mask because I can't remember the last time I did a mask probably over it's always been almost two weeks since I did a mask and normally I do a mask once a week so I've been neglectful to myself beautiful do not neglect yourself you know what I'm saying so anyway what I'll do is I'll let it sit for like five to seven minutes like I said and then I'm gonna go ahead and shower and I'll rinse this off in the shower and I'll be back. Y'all just gonna tag along with me today. Today is Friday, December December 8th or 7th. I don't know, pick a date. <laughs> I don't know, but it's Friday. And yeah, I got some things I want to do today. Last day of my my break from the real world of work. And yeah. Y'all gonna hang out with me for a little bit and enjoy so I'm gonna let this sit and but let me read this thing real quick before I go it says pollution debris is a wonder skin pollution and debris it's a wonder skin can breathe <laughs> this unique mask and scrub works double time to detoxify skin purifying activated charcoal helps absorb oil and impurities without over drying black sugar helps exfoliate away dulling skin cells for softness and clarity perfect for all type skin so i like this i saw this at big lots it only costs three dollars and and thirty cents and i like it this ain't my first time using it i've used it you know several times and i actually like it and <sighs> Y'all probably wonder like, how do I decide what type of mask I'm going to do for the week or whatever. It just depends on how I'm feeling and how I think my skin is doing. Like if I think my skin is, you know, doing okay, but I'm feeling kind of stressed and stuff. This is total sidebar, y'all. And I'm feeling kind of stressed or whatever, you know. But I will pull this one out. Is this it? Yep, I will pull this one out. Okay. And this one is just a regular old facial mask. Nothing special or anything. You just rub it on and you let it dry. It, it, look, it dries like a clay or whatever. And But the cool, the thing about it is... If I'm like I said, if I'm feeling stressed or whatever, as soon as I put the first, uh, the first, uh, the first touch on my face, it's like an instant woo This lavender is no joke, okay? So, you know, hint, hint, wink, wink. 
if you don't have a facial mask with lavender in it this one is enriched with vitamin E and lavender oil extract I highly advise you to get one and honestly I got this joker from the Dollar Tree for a dollar and it does what it does it does what it needs to do for me it's just like a big de-stressor okay because because that lavender in there so get your lavender a mask with lavender you know um i pick and choose my poison i have several masks in here and yeah let me see what's another one i have i got this one i think i got this one from walgreens one day because i saw it is it gonna focus I'm mad. She don't want to focus. But this one is the Garnier Skin Active Clean Pore Purifying 2-in-1 Clay Cleanser Mask. So, I can use it for a daily cleanser or I can use it for a detox mask. Draws out deep impurities. So, if I use it for a daily cleanser, it's, it just removes daily surface impurities. If I use it for a, a detox mask, it does that deep cleanse. So, y'all know I'm just Jackie Loves Duality. So, I loved it. I forgot how much I paid for it. I believe it was on sale. I might have got it for like $5 or something. And it's all free. It's, it's It says, <laughs> it specifies for oily skin. And it says it's candle and clay and charcoal. So, I'm, I'm going to see if this joke is going to focus. There we go. Okay. So that's another one that I like. And sometimes I just like to have a mask resting on my face. So like I said, it just depends on what I got. And you know how I'm feeling. Does anybody else base their mask on how they're feeling or how they how the skin is feeling? Um I see I got these type of masks too where you, it has the actual face and you just let it sit. I love these masks. Ah, those masks are the bomb. Um, you can get them. Well, the places I've seen them, I'm pretty sure you can get them probably from CVS or Walgreens or whatever, whatever. But like the ones, you know, looking like these, I see these at a uh, Ulta. You know, Ulta Beauty, you can buy a single. I want to say they might even sell them in a box. But, baby, these masks are the bomb. You just let them sit on your face. And you can kind of like this massage. And it just feels so good. Feels so good. So, anyway, enough of me rambling. I'm going to wait a few more minutes. And let this sit on. Okay, so now I'm back. I already put my toner on. And the toner of choice for today was... My Estee Lauder, perfectly clean. Y'all remember I did a um, I did a review on this, so go check the video out. Go check it out. Good stuff. All right, so now I'm about to put my moisturizer on, and moisturizer of choice today is my L'Oreal Revitalift. I also did a review on that and you don't need much all you need is like a dime size and I just rub it in you do not need much of this stuff at all and y'all see my little lot of body scarf on I'm not wearing no wig when I tell y'all I've been on vacation all week I've been on vacation all week. That means vacation from hair and makeup, baby. Okay, so, but today, since I'm going to go ahead and go out and about to the mall, well, it don't matter. I'm still not wearing a wig, but I'm going to, let me prep my edges up. I'm, I'm going to tie my hair up with a scarf. If y'all been watching my videos, you already know what scarf I'm putting on. <laughs> I ain't changing nothing up, baby. I ain't changing nothing up. Keep it simple. And y'all probably wondering, like, why you got this scarf on? Because it's a silk-like scarf. It's going to keep the moisture retained in my hair while I'm wearing that cotton scarf <laughs> as a turban, okay? So if I didn't wear this silk-like scarf underneath, 
it would just soak up all the moisture in my hair and then what's the point what's the point and I already um, sprayed my daily moisturizer and the daily moisturizer I'm using is my pasty girl from the previous video I showed you guys so yeah edges is laid if y'all remember my 2016 uh, hair product favorites ain't nothing changed this freaking even is what the the words and wore off this even mega hold is still everything to me let me show y'all the side so y'all can really get the name of it and my edges stay laid when I want them to lay okay so face moisturize edges laid y'all know what's next I'm going to go get dressed and then I will meet my beautifuls back at my makeup counter. Hey beautifuls, I am back and yeah, like I said, been on vacation all week. So I ain't trying to do much. When I go back to work on Monday, I'll do a little, 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 little something, something. So yeah, so now I'm dressed. Got my little turtleneck on. It's kind of chilly out there, so I want to keep my neck covered. Even though I'm real, I'm going to be casual, but casual cute, whatever. Like I said, I'm just running out to do some things. If I record while I'm out, y'all, we'll see where I'm going. But, um, yeah, right now, I'm just going to do a quick face, y'all. I'm not trying to do the most. Um, hmm. Well, you know what? I'm not going to use my cover FX. You know, I, I'm going to save it. I'm going to go ahead and go with this, uh, this Smashbox. Right here. I'm going to go ahead and go with this Smashbox. All right. Ignore my nails, y'all. My nerves have been bad, and I've been biting, biting, biting. But I have stopped biting. Hmm. Because, yeah. I have made the changes I want to make. Make. And my nerves is not bad like that no more for the time being. And I really don't want no more acrylic nails because when I took those things off, oh gosh, I swear, they do the most damage to my nails. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm just going to, I'll still go when I do go, when I get ready to go. I think I'm just going to go get manicures and, and let them just, you know, do a manicure and paint, just paint my nails, even though they short and stubby, I don't care, I'm gonna have them paint it, and um, you know, just so they can look pretty, and at the end of the day, I could do that myself, honestly, I could give myself a manicure, so I'm gonna try that first, and um, see how it goes, so, yeah, face is prime, while the face is resting with that primer, I'll let that thing set for a few moments. Normally, y'all should let the primer sit for maybe a good, I'm going to say at least a good three to five minutes, you know, to um make sure you get the effect that you're going for. And um, why well, don't just do that? And the way I make sure I wait on my primer, I do my brows. You know, that gives that primer plenty of time to set. And then, so right now I'm going to tie this scarf and do my brows. And keep it moving. Yep. So what y'all been up to, beautifuls? As y'all notice, I have been posting more videos. And I hope you guys are enjoying them. I'm just going with the flow. I don't have a set a set schedule for oh let me do this again. I don't have a set schedule for like drop days or nothing. I I just know that I want to drop at least two videos a week. That's 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 my goal. That's my goal. At least two videos. If I do more, I do more. If I do one, I'm okay with doing one. That means I got really, really busy. And I wasn't able to. You know what I'm saying? So um and it's all good because sometimes we just get busy y'all and it is what it is we're gonna try this one one more time y'all it just didn't feel tight enough for me and um 
Yeah, so y'all see why I chose the shirt? Because the shirt got the green that's also in the scarf. So, y'all know a girl like to coordinate. <laughs> okay? Y'all know I love to coordinate. And then I'm just going to just do a regular old turban. Nothing special. Keep it simple. Keep it moving. Tuck it on up in there. Push it back up, up, the tag hanging out. I think I'm good to go. What y'all think? Good to go? If I get that tag, stay up in there, right? I like this scarf. I got this scarf from Old Navy. They had this big old clearance on the accessories. I got this scarf for, I think it was $5. And baby, an Old Navy scarf, that's a deal. Y'all know Old Navy Scars be like $16 and whatnot. Anybody got time for that? I ain't paying no $16 for no damn old naked scar. I refuse. I rebuke. <laughs> okay. So, anywho. Y'all, I did switch to my phone because the battery was low and I didn't want it to cut off while I was recording. So, but y'all know me. I brush these brows. And then... I got my handy dandy mirror right here. Y'all can see it. So, I'll be looking at both. And I ain't going to be doing much, y'all. I'm just going to fill them in a little bit. So, my brows look like they exist a little bit. I don't know why my brows are so thin. I'm a, well, I think it's just ge genetically thin. Because my mom and my sister, their brows are like, basically non-existent for real for real it's maybelline fit this maybelline fit concealer i don't use it often i was using it for a couple of times for the under eye but if my memory serves me correct it broke up i don't know i don't know i don't know, I don't know. it didn't I don't know, y'all. It just didn't seem like it lasted to me. But, we'll see. But my skin's super duper oily. I don't know. Maybe it was the time of year I used it. But I really don't remember the last time I used it. Was it summer? I think so. And I think it was sometime in the summer. It was a warmer month. And then, the makeup just broke up. Like... Y'all know what I mean. The makeup when your makeup just look old for the day and it just looked terrible. It looked terrible, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I bet too much. Let me get my little let me get my little tip back, y'all. Cause I don't cover my tip up. Okay. Yeah, I had cover my tip up, y'all. Shoot. But um But I it's nice and creamy. Nice and creamy. I'm not going to say it reminds me of NARS at all. At all. At all. But it's a nice, it's nice creamy consistency. And for me, it's better used as a, um, a finishing for my brows. Or, um, an eyeshadow primer, you know. Before I put my shadow on. We good? I don't know. It looks weird. It don't look weird, but it don't look balanced, if that makes sense. It looks like I got more on the other eye. So, I'm just trying to balance it out. I know everything ain't going to be perfect, y'all. I know. I'm just Jackie crazy. All right. That's a little bit better. So, that. Like I said, I ain't doing much. I'm going to take the same concealer brush and... My dark circles ain't bad, but I'm just going to go ahead and put on this NW45 from MAC, NW45 from MAC, and just like I said, just give them a little even, more even skin tone, and then right there I got that little bit of discoloration I'm just gonna take my the warmth of my finger and just pat it like so 
Yeah, basically doing the same thing from previous video because I'm not trying to do much. And then I'm going to take my Mac Studio Fix Foundation and I'm just going to finish my eyes with it. I'm just going to set the concealer with this powder. Okay. Always a good thing to set your concealer with some type of powder, y'all. Some type of powder. Especially if you ain't going to be doing no eyeshadow. I don't think I'm going to be doing no eyeshadow, y'all. I'm just going to be like... I don't know. We'll see as we keep it moving, keep it going. And, um... Yeah, so... Blend it out. Y'all, I had a little... I don't really have breakouts, but I had a little breakout right here. And I know what it was from... It was from, I was cleaning, and I think it was the, I don't, I don't know what it was. I touched, I, maybe I touched my face or something, but baby, that pimple was annoying. You know it's annoying when it leaves a mark, but that mark going to be gone in probably another month or so, a month or so, because it was darker than what y'all just saw. If you have a, a great skincare routine, you're, 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 if, and I broke my own rule of thumb. If you get a pimple, you don't squeeze it. As soon as you squeeze it, it's a wrap. You know it's going to leave some type of mark. Don't ever squeeze your pimple. I didn't even bust it. I just squeezed it a little bit. But whatever, y'all. Whole total sidebar to the sidebar. And um, I said I was going to do a powder today, right? Uh, I'm even going to be even friskier. Let's see. Where's my blue... Do a little pop of color under the eye this time. Looking for my... Y'all see all these damn eye pencils? Eye pencils and lip pencils, baby. You know you got too many when you got to pull it all the way out. Here we go. Oh, no, that ain't it. I wanted my blue one. Where's the blue one? I pulled out the green one by accident. I wanted the blue. There you go. Yeah. So... Do this blue eyeliner. I was gonna do green, but I got enough green. I'm gonna do blue. But um, y'all, this is Ulta. This is an Ulta brand eyeliner, gel eyeliner, and it's called Starry Night. Starry, starry night. Paint your palette blue and gray. Y'all remember that? Does anybody remember that? Does anybody remember that from school? Let me know in the description. I mean, the description. Let me know in the comments. Do y'all remember that song? If you took art appreciation. In high school, do you remember that song? Starry, starry night. Paint your belly blue and gray. And y'all tell me, um, you ain't got to tell me who, who wrote it, but tell me who the song was about. <laughs> That's so funny. I remember when I was studying that and I was studying about that artist who the song was referring to. Kind of made me sad. But anyway, y'all. Sidebar to sidebar. Hold on, sidebar. Sorry. Ding. So, what am I looking for? Looking for... What do I want to do, y'all? Do I want to do my MAC MSF? I think I'm going to go ahead with the MAC MSF today. Let me prep my lip. Life Balance Lip Butter. It comes in a... Um, and a tube, you know, like a regular, uh, like a little lipstick thing now. But I, I got this before she, uh, she put it in the, um, you know, the stick for her. Yeah. Actually, she gave it to me as a sample. Love this lip butter. Thank you, boo. So, I'm going to go ahead and go with my MSF and Sun Power. Okay. Y'all. This is just going to be another simple look. When you just don't want to do a whole lot. But you want to look like you woke up like this. <laughs> I woke up like this. I woke up like this. I look so good tonight. God damn, God damn, God damn. Yes. Ah, personality flawless. Me, flawless, and my makeup, flawless, ha, the rock, 
flawless. My rock, flawless. Come on, y'all. Y'all feeling it this morning. Oh, this evening, whenever y'all watching this video. <laughs> Jackie done made up her own verses, didn't I? <laughs> Woo! Sometimes you just gotta do... <laughs> Bitch, I won't go like this. I won't go like this. Sometimes you just got to just... Mm. Yes. Sometimes you just got to. Ain't nothing wrong with waking up on the good side of the bed. I want to wake up on the good side of the bed every day. Okay. All right, y'all. I believe I'm done dusting. Dusting. Because that's basically what I did. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Now I'm going to take one of, uh take the blue color from my um Ulta. One of my mini Ulta eyeshadow palettes. Did y'all get it? Prismatic. Yeah. And I'm going to go like this. Take that blue. I'm really going to get this eyeliner to pop. I'm trying to think. Do I want to do a wing? I'm really keeping it simple and basic, y'all. But see how it pops a little bit more? Oh, I got it on my eye. Just a basic pop. So I won't look so basic. Okay. So I won't look so basic. So, did that. Let me go ahead and put on. Since I ain't doing much. Y'all. Let me go ahead. Y'all, th this is how some mornings be sometimes, y'all. You say you ain't gonna do the most. But you end up coming up here and doing the most. But I'm not going to do a whole eye look. I'm going to take my favorite. This is this is absolutely my favorite transition color. It's from Marte Cosmetics. It's called Royal Red. And I love it. And I'm just going to dust it on this eye. Just to wake it up a little bit. And let me tell y'all something. I've had these real techniques. Uh, bold metal collection brushes. For a couple of years now. I used. A lot of I use the face brushes I got from the collection, but I never use the eye, the eye brushes from the collection, baby. Woo! This damn brush right here blends effortlessly. I'm just like I said, I'm not doing a whole lot. I look, y'all. I'm just dusting it. All over my lid and up in my transition area that leads up into the brow, and that's it. Doing the most, but not enough. Okay, but this thing blend. Oh, this thing makes the eyeshadow melt in your skin. Okay, and just to get a little bit more intense, I'm just gonna go harder right here and blend it out. I'm just going to go harder right here. In the outer corner over here. Same color, but I just wanted to pop more. Y'all see I ain't pulling out no other colors. But I just wanted to give it some dimension. Does that make sense, y'all? I just wanted to give it a little bit dimension. Yeah. Yeah, let it stand out a little bit more. Okay, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm be even froggier. Let me see. I'm just take a little bit. Come around here a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, done with that. Oh, something got in my eye. Like I said, I'm just going to dust again, just around the eye area, since I had... Normally, I would do the, the eyeshadow first before I do any face product, you know, whether it be powder or liquid. But, y'all, I'm just here rambling. But, anyhow. Alright, now, the true... I don't want to do no highlight, but I'm going to do a highlight. And the trick to my highlight, even though I don't want to do a highlight, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one of my um powders. 
And this is the It Cosmetics. Um, what is this shit called? So it's this is the foundation. It's supposed to be rich. Look, supposed to be rich. See that? But when I got it, no ma'am. So I you know, I decided to keep it and make it do what I do. But this is what I do with it. I just go under the eye with it. I know I'm sloppy, y'all. I'm sorry. That's it. I ain't want to get it on the damn nose, but obviously I did. And then, take my handy dandy brush. I'm going to dust it off. Because I don't do no baking. Just dust it off. Then I come back with my Mac and I go over it. I know I don't make no sense, y'all, but this is what I do. Okay. Don't ask me why I go back over it, but it wakes me up a little bit without tuning myself out. Oh, and I'm so ass backwards. Let's see. Then I got to go back over my blue. Because I accidentally hit it when I was. Putting that powder on. Alright, now. I'm going to go ahead and put on my... Uh, eyelash primer just a little bit use my favorite Maybelline Lash Sensational me know but anyhow all right y'all this is it i want to do a gloss but i want some color i'm gonna go ahead and go with this this is from lorac and this color is called boop, 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 dominatrix okay and i already prepped my lips i don't i'm not gonna do a liner i haven't been doing lip liner in a minute yeah, I really have it, but either or, sometimes you don't need it. Sometimes you don't need it. Alright, so, um, alright, y'all ready to go now? I got my denim jacket on from Old Navy. Baby, I got this for a steal. I think I only paid $8 for this denim jacket. Mm, mm, mm. And it fits like I wanted to fit. The sleeves are the right length. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah. And it matches a lot of my jeans. Cool part about buying some of the same stuff from the same company. You know the denim is going to match. So the jeans I got on are from Old Navy. So yeah, I'm good to go. And y'all... These shades are from Shop IJJ. They are called Napoleon Dynamite, but these are the shades. I also have the Napoleon Dynamite in clear, you know, clear with gold frame, clear with silver frame. And I have these Napoleon Dynamite shades in this color. It's like a, a gradient purple to pink. I got blue, yellow, got all blue, got all purple, whatever. Y'all go to Shop IJJ and go check it out. Slowly but surely, I'm adding new stuff to the site. So, kind of like check it out on a regular. And, you know, see if it's something there that you that you want to rock. You know, because I'm feeling these Napoleon. I like these, baby. These are dope. Dope. Mm -mm. Y'all remember that song, BBD? That girl is dope. Dope. I'm so old. I know y'all. I'm old. I'm old. Whatever. Whatever. I'm old and still fly. How about that? Alright, I'm going to go run my errands. Deuces.